Okay, for this topic, we're going to discuss about discrete random variable. So, what is random variable? It's a quantity where the value is determined by the outcome of your random experiment. So, example, consider as consider the experiment of dosing two fair coins. <coughs> So when you dosing two fair coins, what you're going to have a tree diagram to analyze all your outcome because you want to determine your outcome of your random experiment. So when you dosing uh, the first coin, your outcome may be hit or tail. Then you dosing the second coin, also hit or tail. So from this, we can analyze all the outcomes. So your outcome will be have hit and hit. This one will be hit and till. This one till and hit, and then till and till. So that's why our sample space here will be HH, HT, TH, and TT. So random variable here define it as the number of hit appearing. So the number of hit appearing, our possible outcome will be zero which is the case of TT and the number of hit happening, happening here will be 1 for the case of TH or HT or your number of hit here will be 2 where it is H, H. so your random variable normally we denoted it by X will be defined following the definition here so this is two hit this is one this is one this is zero so this is how we get this random variable so your random variable here will be zero one two so your random variable x here zero one two Alright, so it depends on how you define. So if you want to define the number of, okay, let's us change. Let's say this, you want to define the number of tail. So the number of tail will be 0, 1, 1, 2. So our random variable still 0, 1, 1, 2, but the case here will be different. Huh? Our outcome will be different when we define it as the number of tiers. Of course, the probability for each of it will be different. So, the probability distribution of discrete random variable lists all the possible value that random variable that can take their corresponding probability. So, we refer back to the experiment that we done just now. Our random variable here will be 0, 1, 2. Okay, where 0 referring to the case 2 tail, no hit. This one 1 hit and this is 2 hit. So what is their probability? Probability to get 2 tail, what's their probability? To get hit, 1 over 2. To get tail, 1 over 2. Here, 1 over 2. 1 over 2, 1 over 2, 1 over 2. So what's their probability? If you want to get hit and hit, your probability will be 1 over 4. Hit and tail, also 1 over 4. 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So this is the probability. So when your random variable number of hit is 0, 0 referring to the case TT, their probability here is 1 over 4. Alright, your TT here, probability 1 over 4. Probability for TH and HT, 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So it gives you 1 over 2. So probability for this event, H and H, just 1 over 4. Alright, so that's why we 
how to get this probability on our random variable because we already categorized it in our random variable which is 0, 1, 2. Our x is 0, 1, 2. Our probability referring to x is 0 is 1 over 4. Probability referring to x equals to 1 is 1 over 2. Probability referring to 2 is 1 over 4. So we put in the table, we call it probability distribution table. So next, if you want to write it in function, all right, you can write it as probability for the random variable following the case. Okay, probability for the random variable following the respectively case x zero one two. So it will be one over four. For the random variable 0 and 2. 1 over 2 for random variable x equals to 1. Alright, so we can denote it as probability or we can denote it as f per t. So this is our probability distribution function. So if you want function, write in it piecewise. If you want table, you put in table. So don't forget, we will get probability of zero for otherwise. So means for random variable three, we don't have that case happen. Probability zero. For random variable four, uh, five, that won't happen. Their probability is zero. All right, then we continue. When you want to represent it in the graph, so our x axis will be random variable. So just now our random variable will be 0, 1, 2. And then our y axis will be their probability. So 0, you have 1 over 4. 1, you have 1 over 2, 1 over 4. So we draw it 1 by 1. So this will be our distribution graph. So bentuk dia biasanya akan dalam bentuk tiang. Because this is our discrete random variable. Our number ram randomly here is 0, 1, 2, 1 by 1. Tiang satu per satu. So 1. So what is the characteristic when we have x is no, it is a crisp. No. As it's known that it is a discrete random variable where all the probability will be in between the 0 and 1. So look at the probability that we get. So all the probability that we get here will be in between 0 and 1. Another probability is sum. All the probability must be equal to 1. So for example, sum all this probability. It will be 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 is it equal to 1 <coughs> yes means the x represent here the number of heat appearing is a discrete random variable Alright, so from here we can we will learn about mode. Mode, mode is the highest, mode is for the random variable which having the highest probability. The highest probability happen at the random variable 1. So x will be equal to 1 for mode. Alright, well, eh? uh -huh. so discrete random variable. In other words, little, little, little number, little discrete. Bermaksud, kita punya outcome adalah counting number. Counting number. Contoh yang kita buat definasi 
study yeah la, number of hit counting number one hit two hit three hit you don't have one point five hit two point five hit in this in this experiment so it will be category as discrete. Why is variable? Because your outcome can be randomly, maybe 0, maybe 1, maybe 2. It's not specifically, it must be 0, 1, 2. Depends how we define it. Alright, so if we change another type of definition, let's say now x, I want to define it as. Now x, this random variable, I want to define it as same outcome outcome so our random variable will be different same outcome means what I mean here is same type of result same outcome yes we have one this one not same this one not same this one same so the random variable here only involve zero and one where zero is the outcome that doesn't have same outcome of h till or till h. One I referring to hit hit or till till. So definitely my table will be different because our table now will be random variable involving zero and one only. So in order to find out the probability, so you need your tree diagram to analyze what's your probability. Alright, so discrete random variable. Your definition here all in counting numbers. Uh, you won't have decimal. Okay. So kita ada experiment. Macam nak kita nak keluarkan table. Macam nak kita nak lukis uh, tulis dalam function. Macam nak kita nak lukis graph dia. Dan macam nak kita nak buktikan dia adalah characteristic. So don't forget, you sum all the property must be equal to 1. Last year, you based on your graph or based on your table, you see the highest probability that is your random variable mode, mode for random variable.